Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Simo Nets and I am a professional makeup artist. In this channel, I share all things that really just make me happy like beauty, fashion, makeup artistry, uh, lifestyle, just really anything. Today's video is going to be diving into professional makeup artistry. I've gotten so many requests to share my kit with you guys and I've been wanting to do this video for forever but I'm such a perfectionist that I wanted to really have this kit be perfect or at least as perfect as possible. I think it's almost perfect now. I'm sure I will make updates to it but if I do I will update you on Instagram, on TikTok so follow me on there and I might make a yearly kit update if you guys are interested this video is going to be super long because i was so detailed showed you every single product that i carry and i'm even sharing shades with you so there's going to be like a four second clip in between different sections of the video with a list of all of the products that i use and the shades that i currently carry I double checked and I don't think I missed anything but if I did please ask me down below also everything from my lights my equipment everything that I use to depot and decant my kit will be linked below either as an individual link or on my Amazon storefront and it will be very easy for you to find it I promise but again if you have any questions just ask me in the comments I just want to help my fellow makeup artists out and my aspiring makeup artists out I don't like gatekeeping. I love helping. I wish that when I was first starting off with makeup that I had like videos like this to really help guide me. You know, you don't have to replicate my kit. Nobody has to replicate anybody's kit. But, you know, it's always good to have like that inspiration and get ideas, especially on how to carry your kit because kits can get super heavy and nobody has time to be breaking their back. Anyways, let's get into this kit tour. Please give me a like if you enjoy this video. Comment if you have any questions or any feedback and subscribe to my channel for more content. All right, let's go. Okay, so when I travel to a job, usually a wedding, these are the two things that I take with me. That really big suitcase and this chair. I don't always take my chair. Sometimes I try to like ask and see if they have a tall chair at the hotel, but I like to be prepared. So having a chair is always key. I could take lighter, smaller suitcases or bags, but I just rather only carry one to two things with me and have it be heavier. It's on wheels. So the only time where this is really, really an issue is if I have to take stairs, but it's honestly not that bad. Because I've condensed my kit so well, it's actually not as heavy. It used to be a, quite a bit heavier, and I think I've probably knocked off at least like 15 to 20 pounds off of it. My chair is from Amazon. I have one in my storefront. It might not be this exact one because I believe this one might be discontinued, but either way, this one specifically is very tall. I am 5'8", so I do have a taller chair than other makeup artists do. So the one I have in my storefront is one that I have back at my in-laws house and that one's a little bit shorter and I like that one a lot. I've had this particular chair for like over six years now and it's still going strong. I have to deep clean it down with like a hose. I always disinfect it but I really want to like deep clean it with a hose really really well. And then this is a Samsonite bag. It's large. I don't know if it's the largest one. I think there might be a bigger one but this one is from TJ Maxx. Uh, you can usually find stuff like this at TJ Maxx, at uh, Ross, Burlington. I got mine at TJ Maxx though. This is my suitcase. I really like the size of it. It's like the perfect size for everything that I need to fit in there. The first two pockets, all that's in there is disinfectant wipes, paper towels inside of a Ziploc bag, the cord for my ring light and an extension cord. That's all that's in the outer pockets. Now this is a suitcase open. Usually here I have the bags at the bottom, my two black bags. And then right on top, I sit my ring light. Right in those pockets, I have my brush sets. In there, I have my retouching kit stuff. And then I have some extra stuff. And I will show you a little breakdown of what I have in there. And right here, we have my brush set. I have nine full brush sets that may seem excessive but I like to have a lot of brushes because I rather have more than not enough and a lot of times I work large weddings and I'm not going to clean brushes between clients especially 
especially especially with COVID before I used to just use cinema secrets in between um, but now I do a little bit more heavy duty cleaning um, I mean I wouldn't always deep clean them before right but before we were a little bit more comfortable with kind of just spot cleaning between clients and then just using the brush right away now I go even more extensive so I have a brush set for everyone one through eight and then I have a bride one and with the bride one it's just me being like nitpicky and picking really specific brushes that I like using for brides not every single set is exactly the same just because I built these over time it took me a while to put these together because <laughs> brushes can get expensive uh, but I can also do a video on some of my favorite brushes if you guys are interested on that like on some of my go-to's and then this obviously I got from Amazon and that will also be on my Amazon storefront and when I go to weddings I don't take every single one I mean unless I have nine people that I'm doing all by myself but for example tomorrow I have a wedding that is going to be four people so I'm going to take five sets I always like to take an extra set because you never know it's happened to me before that I like will place this down and then it'll fall and then all the brushes are on the ground I'm not gonna pick those brushes up and put them on the person's face so now I have to grab a fresh brush set so this is my touch-up bag here is where I keep my touch-up kits I usually provide a touch-up kit for all of my clients as long as it's available but I do give priority to giving touch-up kits for my brides and their bridesmaids I have full size lip products for my brides that I like to give them usually pretty affordable stuff uh, sometimes they buy their own lipsticks but if they don't have something I like to have different options so I include things like NYX butter glosses essence glosses essence lipsticks I really truly love those lipsticks and it's just like a nice gift to have and sometimes I'll even give them a lip liner to go along with it as well but for bridesmaids and just other clients I give them a little bit of their lip product so I'll like scoop out some lipstick or some gloss and put it into one of these and the other I add some translucent powder here we have a lipstick applicator a q-tip a wedge sponge a mint a blotting sheet a tissue and a wipe I also bring with me extra mini lash glues a lot of times these come with um, like lash uh, sets like when you buy a pack of five or six sometimes they come with it so I just collect them and I might give it to like a bride or to the maid of honor and I tell her here's some extra lash glue in case any of the girls need it usually no one's lash is popping off but you never know you never know so it's just good to have this an extra sharpie in here because I like to write like lips powder I like to write their name especially if it's a big bridal party so they don't get their stuff confused I also have these mini lip glosses that I put together it's just I added squeeze in some lip gloss in here just like as a pre-made uh, thing with some of the most popular colors of um, lipstick slash lip glosses that I tend to use so just good to have these on hand in case and then here I have some extra jars for powder and for lipstick. This is my bag with my extras and other essentials. So here I have some Purell wipes. I have hand sanitizer all the time, but it's just good to have some wipes in case. And here I also keep, like I said, a lot of extras. So I have extra lip applicators, extra cotton rounds, extra Q-tips. And these are all extra because I already have them in my other main bag. And you'll see once I show you. Yeah, extra cotton rounds, extra Q-tips. I have an extra pair of scissors, extra hand sanitizer, an additional lash curler, some extra clips. I have a small first aid kit, some breath spray because my breath be stank sometimes, some straws, some deodorant, that's for me. Here I have some extra tissues, extra mascara, extra lash glue. These are just things that like you never want to be without. You never want to not have that so I just have an extra because I'm extra and here I have a speaker and the charger for the speaker in this container is where I keep those full-size lip products I was telling you about that I have in stock for brides so here as you can see I have some NYX butter glosses I like keeping colors like Madeline, Tiramisu, I also have Fortune Cookie, 
I have a few others. They're just not in here because I can't carry them all. I have some Essence lipsticks. Special, happy, charming, bold. I have some Essence Shine 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 lip glosses and a bunch of different shades of like pinks. I also have some Essence a lip liner, something more nude, like brown, red, mauve, and like more pink. And I have some Essence liquid lipsticks. This is Date Proof and Hello Sunrise. So this is what I call my secondary bag. This is where I keep a lot of my hygiene stuff, a lot of my tools that I need to work, not so much makeup. So this is a Relavel brand. You guys all know this brand, I feel like. Every makeup artist has this, but most people have the extra large. To be honest, I didn't know there was an extra large one. Otherwise, I would have gotten that one and I probably would only have one of these, but that's okay. I'm happy with the way my system is right now. So this is the large one. In here, I don't want to take this stuff off because I don't want to make a mess, but in here all I have are some dental bibs just to like lay out on top of a surface if needed so I don't have to dirty anything. Here is a collapsible trash can and I also have extra masks inside of a Ziploc in here. Here are some Cinema Secrets. I have the little mini bottle and a little spray bottle and just a little dish so that I can clean my brushes if I need to, but I very rarely use it because I have separate brush sets for each client. In here I have some dog poop bags and I have them because they fit perfectly into my collapsible trash can. They're black, really tiny, doesn't take up a lot of space. And I have a cape in here because it's just good to have in case my client is already dressed, especially if they're wearing like a light color or something that can get dirty. It's just good to have a cape to protect their clothes if needed. Moving on to the good stuff, here we have some sally hansen airbrush legs i use these obviously for the body if needed and for the chest but i love to use this on the neck and a little bit down the chest just to really blend foundation and to make it look super airbrushed and seamless and have like absolutely no color difference and sometimes foundation can be a little heavy or like feel thick this feels like nothing on the skin so i have a light medium and deep here I have the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This is a tried and true, just a super good stuff. A travel size of the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless. You can't go wrong with it. Here I have some Neutrogena Body Mist Sunscreen. You really can't go wrong with having sunscreen. A lot of times the bride's chest and back is exposed. And also, I learned this from Scott Barnes. He applies this to the chest for like a really nice glow. So it's sun protection and it gives a really beautiful glow to the skin. And here I have a bunch of decanted setting sprays. This is the Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. I absolutely love this, especially for dry skin. Here we have some Fix Plus. You can't go wrong with good old Fix Plus. And here I have the Blue Marble and the Green Marble setting sprays. This one is water-based, I believe, and it's better for more sensitive skin. And if the client has like really oily skin and their skin isn't very sensitive, you can use a Green Marble and it's more alcohol-based. Obviously not something you want to use every day, but for really special occasions, these are really, really good because they create almost like a film over the face so it really helps the makeup stay locked in place this is the inside of the bag and the first thing we have is a mirror this is just a foldable mirror got it on amazon i got most of these things on amazon i will have everything linked down below it's just a plastic tray that i like to have to put a lot of things that i'm currently using on a specific client um, on my side table or something and I got this actually at Target. I did get some things at Target as well. Here I have some disposables, some lashes. We have a handheld fan, some makeup wipes. These are Neutrogena. I don't use a lot of makeup wipes, but it's good to have them. I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Here I have some tissues. I just took them out of the little package and put them in this box. Here I have some makeup remover. This Artist Kit Company palette that's really good for liquid products because it has like little wells. Hand sanitizer. We have some water and we have some alcohol. Here on the side, I just keep some of my steel palettes. Here in this container, I actually have this little thingy majig. This is a lens cleanser, like for a camera, but it just 
blows air and so I use this for when my palettes and my powders get really like dusty and have a lot of cake back obviously you don't want to blow on them right so I just go like this and it just like blows air and it makes all those powdery stuff go away I like it and then here just that reach but so that they're not exposed I have some powder puffs and some makeup sponges now let me kind of show you a little bit of how I have these broken down. So this is my lash box and in here I have a lot of lashes. It doesn't seem like I have a lot, but I actually have a lot. I've seen a lot of makeup artists, they cut their lashes like around just so that they're able to just have them individually and that's what I did. I have them kind of by style, so like wispies, really natural ones for moms and grandmas. I have a little bit more dramatic ones like my fluffier ones and I have some individuals. They're actually not individuals, these are trios. I don't really use them, but again, I'd rather have it and not use it than not have it and need it. And back here I have my eyelash curler two mascaras, some lash glue, scissors, tweezers, lash applicator, and more lash glue. This is my disposables box, and here I have some mascara wands, some Q-tips, lip applicators, eyeliner applicators, plastic, I blanked out, um, plastic spatulas, cotton rounds, I have some eyebrow razors here. Don't really use them, but again, you know the drill in case I need them. I have the more precise Q-tips here, which are really good for cleaning up mistakes. And here I actually have, let me show you. And this is actually something that I believe I saw from Priscilla Ono. And these are basically individual soap sheets. I can't open it. Um, individual soap sheets so you take a little sheet and it's soap because sometimes there's no soap or you don't want to use like that same bar soap at a hotel or just at random places it's just good to have and these are actually individually wrapped um like towelettes which is also really good to have on hand whether you need it or your client needs it i don't like that they're individually wrapped because it is kind of wasteful so i try to not use them as much so that i don't have to create so much waste but it, it is it is good to have especially if you want to be very sanitary i have my pencil sharpener here and then these are actually i know you guys have maybe seen the plastic thing that you can put on your hand and like work off of that because I know I love to work off of my hand but it's not always sanitary and it's just a pain in the ass to clean your hand off like see look um so this is actually what they use like for tattoos to like cover it and I just got a big roll and I cut it up so I have like individual hand palettes in case I want to use my hand And that is this bag. I'm so happy with like the way that I have my system organized. It's just very easy and clean, uh, very straightforward for me to use. So I'm really happy with how this bag turned out. And this is the start of the show. This is where all the makeup really is. And you know, it's the, it's the favorite bag and the one I've like put my blood, sweat and tears into. The so deep can and deep pot stuff, you'll see. Again, same bag, relabel, relabel, whatever, size large. The top, very not exciting. I have an extra lip palette in here with a bunch of like bolder colors. I very rarely use that, but if I ever need to scoop out a bold color for a client, I'd rather have some. Here I have some Urban Decay glitters, just gold and silver. I don't really use glitter, but it's just good to have it in case you need it. A clear gloss that is Fenty and all of my Alamar glosses are here just because that's where they fit best. Here I have some lotion samples, some under eye mask, and some sheet masks. So here I have three P. Louise eye bases. They're really good. I don't use them as much as I should because I tend to just use concealer as primer. But I really, really like these primers. And they double up also as uh, concealers. I mean, I'm sorry, not concealers, as eyeliners. Especially for like the waterline. Here I have the one and only eyebrow pencil I carry in my kit. This is the Benefit Precisely My Brow in the color 4.5. This color works for everyone, pretty much everyone. Um, depending on the pressure that you have here. I have eyeliner pencils and I have 
more matte ones and more shimmery ones i have browns blacks nude and i have some shimmery ones here i will list the names of all of the ones that i carry on the side or somewhere on the screen i'll just list the names so that i don't have you here forever for lips for red i have two sephora lip colors i love sephora lip colors um the liquid matte lipsticks are super comfortable and i have a morphe liquid lipstick uh each one is darker than the other i also have a lot of morphe and mac lip liners i again will list all of the names and yeah mostly morphe and mac but some of my favorite lip liners are alamar cosmetics absolutely love them for some of my more nude liquid lipsticks and like pinks i have some morphe i have some essence lip glosses and this one a random anastasia liquid lipstick that i really like but it's honestly very similar to one of these morphe ones it's here so we'll just keep you there my two clips are from artist kit company so staying with the eye and lip theme i have two lip palettes here which i'll show you in a second i have lip glosses uh just matte lip colors lip balm and a couple of lip liners that are too short to hang out in there here so here i have the fenty gloss bombs this is diamond milk fussy and fenty glow here i just have some aquaphor just good old lip conditioner sometimes i use the rosebud salve as well really good stuff and I also have this So Juicy gloss by ColourPop, and this is in the color Cutie. I have these Danessa Myricks matte colors, and these are Latte, Nude for Chestnut, and Exposed. These are for eye, lip, and cheek. Obviously, I use these more for the lips, and they're very, very matte. Um, they are very difficult to come off, but that's great. So I have these. I just ordered another color. It's kind of like an in-between nude but between this and all the other lip colors i have i have every color that i could possibly need also have these two lip mixes by mac i don't even know if they still sell them but these are really really beautiful these are more of like a satin finish so they're not completely matte but i like them a lot and i love mixing these two together this is deep tone nude and this is mid-tone nude i have this lipstick palette i have had it for years and i've like emptied them out and added new ones emptied them out and added new ones um, just in the sense of like if they expire, you know, and they start to smell funky or something I'll like take it out and just put a whole new one of the same color um, In there it was labeled But it's not anymore because the labels just got so crusty and so ugly because I've had this palette for a while that I just took it off um, And I'll just be guessing um, Some colors I do remember um, I'll, I think all but like maybe these two are Mac lipsticks. These I believe are Milani lipsticks but for example um fresh brew we have touch we have verve this is chope oh i cannot remember what this one is uh we have like angel cream cup peach stock myth flesh pot faux velvet teddy no kind of sexy velvet teddy um naturally transformed um so i don't know them all by memory but i did used to work for mac so i do have a good idea of some of these colors um but i can make a separate video on like some of my go-to colors but here i'm just showing you everything i use so um hopefully that's helpful enough i have this makeup by mario palette i don't use it all that often you know it's kind of new but i do like that it has like all of these primary colors in here it's just a nice palette to have just in case there's a color that i am missing like the other day somebody wanted something more orange and this came in clutch so moving on to eyes we have some liquid eyeshadows here i actually ordered some of the shimmer foils from Danessa myricks as well and they might replace some of these i just got like a lot of the standards like gold bronzy pinks champagnes just because i love the fact that they're in squeezy tubes very easy to use and Danessa myricks is really good so those are supposed to actually arrive today but here i actually have these essence metal rock eyeshadows these don't 
exist anymore um they were discontinued i'm not sure when but i think it was recently and i have like a pink a gold a silver these are stila color grace and a starlight so i'm more like pinky bronze and a more gold here i have these two kaja ones this is like a really warm coppery bronzy color and this is a more um cool tone i want to call it like a pewter type of color okay and then for eyebrows i did mention i don't have any other uh eyebrow pencils but i do have these and these are the nyx um eyebrow gels and this is just like a squeeze out thing so it's basically like a pomade in a squeezy tube i don't use them as much but i can use these also like as eyeliner um, as eyeshadow base so that's why i have them because they are like a multi-functional thing so i have a couple of shades and then i have the makeup forever one in the color taupe i like this one because it was very cool tone and i love working with cool tones i also have these essence um tinted brow gels i barely use them to be honest but i like to have them especially for people that have already really thick dark brows and i don't really want to fill them in but i want to take off that like powdery effect or i want them to look a little darker then i will go ahead and just like use that i also have inglot duraline in here i feel like we all know what that is but it's just basically to revive any dry um eyeliners here i have my maron skin prep so maron skin prep originally is very 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 oil controlling there's definitely a learning curve to it um so this is the original one and this is a little bottle that's waiting for the new hydro one that came out so it's supposed to be extremely hydrating which is great because i love 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 really hydrating mature skin and really really dry skin because sometimes makeup just will look a little cakey um if the skin is too dry so having a little bit of extra tlc will help and do wonders for that here i have some face oil i think this is like a pixie just like um jasmine oil or something like that um in case i ever need it in case somebody is like really that dry but i very rarely have use for it this is a makeup forever aqua seal this also makes anything waterproof um, I feel like it's kind of similar to the Inglot Duraline, but it's a little less about reviving cream products and more about mixing into things and making them waterproof. And you can definitely um, turn an eyeshadow into liner with this as well. This is the Magic All-in-One Primer. This works really well, um, kind of like the Aqua Seal, um, but you can also use it like as an eyeshadow primer. It's the weirdest, most interesting thing. I don't use it as much, but it, it's really good stuff. Uh, here, I just have this little bottle with some got to be gel, and I use this for eyebrows. And here, I have this little concoction or situation that I put together, and this is for contacts. And here, I have my eyeliners. I just found that being in other palettes they were getting too dry hopefully in here they won't dry out as quickly but these are Inglot. this is the black one um number 77 and this is i think 20 it's the just solid um matte brown one that they carry so i have them in here and i'll just like scoop them out with a q-tip with a spatula whatever this empty space right here is waiting for those danessa myricks uh liquid eyeshadows so my camera ready cosmetics order came in so i want to show you guys what i got i got the danessa myricks color fix creams and these are the shimmer ones so i got a couple of shades just to use as like shimmery eyeshadow bases for the lid i got the color milky way muse celebration ballerina and romance i love all of the colors that i chose the only one that i'm kind of iffy about is ballerina i have to swatch it um and see if i like it enough the only one i'm kind of iffy about was this selection right here they look a little bit similar this one has way more shimmers though and it's a little bit warmer so hopefully they're different enough because they're both really beautiful i just don't like getting like really similar colors but obviously it was online but i'm really happy i feel like i have like a really diverse range of lid shades and while we're still on the topic of brows here i have my kit pack palette and this has a bunch of my anastasia 
brow powders and these are some random colors i believe they were from like a pixie um eyeshadow palette but i found them to be especially these two or actually these three pretty like cool tone and really neutral pretty good for brows and i don't know i didn't i just needed a space to put them so they live in here so you can see right here is my makeup by mario palette this is my like pinks and purple palette most of these eyeshadows are color pop from the smoke and roses or something like that i don't know i have to put the name up on the screen but it's a really like pink and purpley cool tone eyeshadow palette from ColourPop and I just see potted them and put them in there and then these square ones are actually from Huda Beauty the matte ones and I believe those two at the top are Anastasia Beverly Hills and we have my shimmers palette and this kind of just holds all of my shimmers here we have some Natasha Denona at the bottom left that is from the glam palette and then above we have some more color pop um some more natasha denona from i think like a five pan eyeshadow palette i can't remember which one it is though and then on the top left you see some squares and those are just repressed eyeshadows and uh pigments and some of those are Juvia's Place and MAC. Right at the top, those are also more pressed eyeshadows and pigments. And those are um, MAC, Juvia's Place, Too Faced. I can't you know, even begin to tell you the names because I don't remember. I just go off of colors, not really shade names. And then the bottom right right here, those are Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows. Here we have my mattes. And it's a, a combination of warm and cool toned. And I have some Natasha Denona, Anastasia Beverly Hills, and ColourPop mainly. Okay, so now we're moving on to the face. So I'm just gonna continue going down like this way and then we'll work to this side. So for highlighter, we have these two, Anastasia and Reezy. This is a classic, tried and true. It's absolutely stunning. It looks really beautiful as eyeshadow. So I have this and I have this Dior palette. I'm really thinking about getting the more warm one, but I'm not sure yet. And if I do get it, I'll just wait for the Sephora sale. Um, I love this for the inner corner. Love these all for the lid as well but i really love this for the inner corner love this as a blush topper and especially love these for the lids and obviously i use them as highlight as well and then here are all of my face powders this is one of my blush palettes this is my alamar blush palette i had another one with all of my darker alamar blushes and it fell and shattered so i have to get a re-up on those um but for now i have these uh, Alamar blushes are so so stunning um, I have some of the older shades from when she first launched them and then I have some of the newer ones so that's why it's kind of mixed in there um, but the newer colors are so 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 beautiful I definitely recommend them and um, they're very affordable and it's Latina owned woman owned so definitely give them a try their glosses are also beautiful and their lip liners are some of my favorites these are kit pack um like empty pans and i bought the molds from the artist arsenal so i can press them down so these are actually um alamar blushes as well but i had to repress them because when they fell and shattered some of them got saved but they were kind of um they cracked and they weren't going to survive so i just repressed them so these are some of the darker ones right here from the actual blush palette this is from the encanto collection and so is this one this is uh rosa hermosa rosa and this is oh my gosh i have i know the name of it but i can't remember <laughs> it's a bright pink one from the encanto collection and this one oh my god i'm drawing a blank as to what this color is i cannot remember for the life of me what color this is if I remember, I'll let you know, but I can't remember right now. So here I have bronzer, and this is CT Plus because it's Charlotte Tilbury and others. Um, I just kind of wanted to remember. So here I have my four Charlotte Tilbury ones, one, two, three, and four. And I know people are like, oh my God, how can you depot Charlotte Tilbury? Listen, 
after some time of doing makeup you just like don't even care about packaging anymore you just want everything to be condensed and just flow like a well-oiled machine so that is what we're working with so i have these right here from charlotte tilbury this is milani uh the baked bronzer in soleil and this one is mac give me sun my alamar bronzers and right here this looks super random but these are actually some that i was like you know what i really want some of these colors i might not use them all the time but i want to have them in my kit in case i need them so from the patrick ta blush palette that he came out with a while ago i believe it was limited edition but now they're sold individually these are the powder blushes i just scraped a little bit off of each shade especially like this color this baby doll pink is so beautiful and these are two really like cool toned ish pinks that i really liked from one of the laura lee blush palettes so i had them i just scraped some off and here we are i put them in here and then yeah these are my alamar bronzers amazing absolutely gorgeous and they work really beautiful as eyeshadows as well and just the kind of like a lot of times i like to do the bronzer on the face and then i'll take a little bit of the bronzer and dust it in the crease to really bring the look together and make everything look cohesive so definitely like i said i recommend these and then for pressed powders and powder foundations these are the two that i have so i have some powder foundations in here i will try to find the list of names if i have them i don't think i'll have them all but so if i do though i'll try to put it on the screen or in the description but these are mac studio fix and Too Faced Born This Way multi-use powder foundation and the reason I have a Too Faced Born This Way powder foundation is actually because when I used to work for Glam Squad they used to give us a lot of free product with whatever like partnership they were doing at the time they were partnering with Too Faced and we got a bunch of free products I like to have powder foundations just because I love it to set foundation to add coverage and to just like really lock it in for like full coverage glam um, or you can also really lightly dust it um, and it's just it's, it's such a versatile product to have so powder foundations are really good to have in your kit and here I have just my pressed powders and this gets a little messy but you just have to like dust it off um this one kind of broke a little bit on me but I did save the product so I'm going to just repress this um, these are my Charlotte Tilbury pressed powders. Uh, this is one, two, three, and four. Their shade range, it's a, it needs a little work. Here I have, uh, what is this? This is MAC Dark Deepest. Yes, this is MAC Medium Golden. And this is Sephora in the color Fair. This is the Micro Smooth Powder. I love the Micro Smooth Powder. And these are all of my Alamar brightening powders and they are just repressed. These came in the palettes with their respective bronzers. They have a bright and bronze palette, but I just wanted to carry everything more compact and condensed. So here they are. Here is where I keep my loose powders. I saw this idea a really long time ago um, and I absolutely loved it because I used to have my loose powders in a more like uh like those you know like those stackable little things that were going around i don't even know what to call them right now my brain is like shot but they're like stacks basically and people just had like their different powders and i carried my powders like that for a very long time but it just got very messy and the two options were either being messy or being unsanitary by dipping your brush in there and i just wanted to avoid that so i started using these bottles you could normally use them for foundation but the way that they work is just like really 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 good for, for powders i honestly really like it it doesn't like go all over the place it dispenses only a little bit of powder at a time so i really recommend these some of the powders that i carry are the hourglass loose powder some maybelline powder some huda beauty powders and for translucent i was using the rcma no color powder um but now lately i've also been using just a derma blend so the one that doesn't have a label is my translucent and um i need to refill or add in sugar cookie and cherry blossom by huda beauty i just got those so i want to insert them in here 
Moving on to the liquid complexion section, I carry the Too Faced Born This Way concealers in my kit. I absolutely love them. When I worked for Glam Squad, they gifted us a bunch of colors, so I have so many in my kit for that reason. And I also have purchased and refilled a few, but I honestly love this. It works as foundation, concealer, good for contour. Uh, it, it's just really good. It has great undertones for so many different skin types. Absolutely love it. And I use this primarily um, underneath the eyes and sometimes around the face or for contour and stuff like that. But I also have a couple of shades of the Tarte Shape Tape. If I had to pick between the Too Faced Born This Way and the Tarte Shape Tape, I would pick Too Faced Born This Way in a heartbeat. I just, I'm trying to get rid of the Tarte Shape Tape. And I will say, sometimes Tarte Shape Tape is really good. Um, as an eye primer and also to put like on the nose and maybe on the chin area for clients that are really oily um i think that it works really well like as a like as a first layer i know so many makeup artists swear by this concealer and again it's not a bad concealer it's really good i just would prefer Too Faced over tarte for sure recently i added a couple of shades of the nyx serum concealer um, I received some NPR. I purchased some myself, and so I decided to put some in my kit because some people have really, really, really dry under eyes, um, especially like more mature clients. And I just think it's really, really nice to have a super hydrating concealer that is maybe not so high coverage as the others. And it's good to just mix in with another concealer, use on its own, mix in with a foundation to kind of maybe sheer it out a little bit or make it more hydrating. So I have that in my kit. Not a necessity. Again, if I could work just with the Too Faced Born Display, but I have them, so I do use them and I enjoy them. Another concealer that I have that I don't think I see here that I carry sometimes, um, and the reason that I might not be in here might be in my storage, are the Estee Lauder Double Wear Hydrating Concealers. And those are also really nice for more mature skin or very dry under eyes. But like I said, again, I can make this concealer work for any type of skin and for any under eye. It's all in the skin prep. These two palettes right here are my Vuset palettes, just like the lip palette. And these have cream blushes in them. I will turn them around so you can see them a little bit better. But these are actually all Bed Nye liquid blushes. And here are just a few scoops of the ones from the Patrick Ta palette that I was talking about earlier with the powder blushes. I just kind of put those in there. And here I have this ochre color corrector, which is really good to have in your kid. Um, there's a lot of clients that have a more ochre undertone or need a more ochre undertone in their foundation. So this is really good to have. And here I have some cream contours. And these three are my wet and wild cream contours. This is like one of the very few things from the drugstore that I have um, in my kit. Obviously, besides like a couple of NYX products here and there essence and morphe for the lips but for complexion morphe contours are so beautiful uh i wish the shade range was a little bit better but they are really nice products so i do have them here and then here are the huda beauty ones i really enjoy this product because it does blend out really nicely the only downside is that the colors run very dark so you do have to be careful when selecting the colors this palette right here is primarily my Maron HD creams. I have talked about these before and I love these so much. Unfortunately, I will not be able to give you the shade names because I'm not very good at keeping track of that. I never got shade names and if I did, I might have written them down somewhere else and like by now I've lost them so I apologize for that. When I have to refill, I'll be going through a struggle of trying to figure out which ones to get. So that's my fault. Same for these products. I know that these are Makeup Forever HD Cream Foundations, um, but I don't know the colors. So really sorry about that. And here I have some LA Girl uh, Creamy Concealers and a Cover FX Peach Color Corrector. This is a peach color corrector from LA Girl. And this is medium beige and I believe creamy beige or creamy peach, creamy beige from LA Girl. Um, cosmetics. I don't really reach for them that much, but I do have them in here. With the leftover space that I have in here, I'm actually waiting for a haul from Beauty Bay to add the Blurshes. <laughs> it's an interesting name, but they're called Blurshes. They are from Made by Mitchell, and I 
got a few of the cream bronzers slash contours and one of the really baby pink blushes so i'm excited to add that and it'll fit or, or should fit right in here so here we have my liquid foundations i have a one random mac pro longwear concealer in the shade nc30 for foundations i have the mac waterproof pro longwear foundation i absolutely love and swear by this foundation i talk about why i love it so much like on my instagram and on my tiktok um, I have my Too Faced Born This Way foundations. I have Dior Backstage foundation. And I do have the Becca Skin Love foundation in here as well. It's discontinued because Becca is no longer in business. So I'm just trying to get rid of them. But my like rider dyes are for sure my Maron creams, my Pro Longwear foundations by MAC, and my Estee Lauder Double Wear and my Too Faced Born This Way. The other ones that I have, I do like, but like I said, the Becca is being discontinued and the dose of colors, I do actually really like it, but I don't know if I would necessarily repurchase them just because I love my other ones so much, but I did receive those two shades in PR. Um, and like I said, it, they are nice foundations. And here, this last little box right here, we have some skin prep. And I have my MAC Fast Response Eye Cream. I swear by this stuff. It is so good. I've tried different eye creams before, and I just keep going back to this one. I have my Laneige uh, Milky Toner. I have Makeup Forever Hydrating Primer, Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer, MAC Strobe Cream, Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum, Embrolisse Le Concentre. It's beautiful. You've heard about this. You've had to have heard about this if you're a makeup artist. It is such a good moisturizer. This is a Sephora Vitamin C Serum. It is honestly very beautiful. Adds an extra layer of hydration. Really good for all skin types, just to add right before even just your moisturizer. I have the Tata Dewy Moisturizer. Here I have the Bobbi Brown Vitamin C Enriched Face Base. Um, I just put it in the little contacts container just because it comes already in like a little pot and it just takes up space. So I just have it in here. Here I have some Skin Glow products. These are the ones from Sol de Janeiro. These are like the body glows that they have. Beautiful and they smell amazing. This is an Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid highlighter. Is it my favorite? No, but it's good. And I haven't found a highlighter that... I like for my kit that I can depot a liquid highlighter specifically here I have two LA girl color correctors this is white and this is yellow and this is just a very dark foundation I don't have much use for it on a regular basis but I do like to have darker foundations this is actually L'Oreal true match and I believe it's a color C12 I could be wrong but it's one of the darkest one if not the darkest that they carry All right, guys, that was everything. I hope that you found it super helpful. I know it was a long one, so if you're still here, you are awesome. Don't forget to check the description bar. I try to be as detailed and as like concise and precise as possible, so hopefully everything down there is very helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and connect with me on social media. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.